Good morning. I'm Barry McGuire, real estate lawyer for over 40 years. The question we're working with today is, why do I need a lawyer when I'm buying or selling a piece of property? Why can't I just do that on my own? I mean, you're all smart people. It shouldn't be rocket science. Why can't you do it on your own? Let's look at it from two perspectives, from the seller's perspective and from the buyer's perspective. When you are the seller, what your lawyer does for you is he prepares the sale paperwork, the transfer of land that you sign. That's a very valuable document. That's gonna move the title from your name into the buyer's name. And your lawyer is gonna give it off to the buyer's lawyer. And it's extremely important that if the buyer has the document that can put the title in his name, that money flows into your hands. So your lawyer's job when, he's, when you're a seller is really to be your money manager. That's what he's doing. He's making sure that your valuable documentation gets money paid for it. And then the second thing your, the seller's lawyer does is he takes the money that he gets paid on the buying side and then he pays off your old mortgage. Most people, when they sell a property, have an existing mortgage that needs to be paid out. And so once your seller's lawyer gets the sale proceeds, he pays off any old mortgages that you have, pays off taxes if you haven't paid them, and then he makes sure that you get the balance of your money. So on the sales side, the seller's lawyer is really acting as a, as a money manager to make sure money goes where it is supposed to go. What the buyer's lawyer does is quite different from what the seller's lawyer does. Seller's lawyer is a money manager. The buyer's lawyer is looking to make sure that you get the property that you bargained for in your real estate purchase contract. So the first thing the buyer's lawyer does is a bunch of diligence, does a bunch of searches on the property. He'll uh, get a copy of the title from the land titles office. He'll get uh, a tax search to make sure that the taxes are paid or not paid so that he knows what the circumstances are. He might uh, be looking at working on a real property report for you, although that's often the seller's job. So firstly, the buyer's lawyer does diligence. He checks the property to make sure that he knows the state of the property and then uh, he'll understand how to interact with the seller's lawyer. Next thing the buyer's lawyer does is he works with your lender because most people need a new mortgage. He gets what's, what are called mortgage instructions from your new lender and he prepares all of the mortgage documentation. And lenders demand that a lawyer do that. So even if you could do some diligence on your own, your bank won't let you prepare your own mortgage. So you have to have a lawyer. Once the lawyer prepares the mortgage, he then prepares the financial calculations that tell you exactly how much money you have to bring in this would be all the rest of the money that you need to close that isn't coming from your new mortgage, tax adjustments, any other kind of adjustments, and legal fees, and he sends you these financial calculations and make sure you understand how much uh, money you have to bring. And then your buyer's lawyer works with the seller's lawyer to actually get the paperwork that moves the title into your name. And lastly, he makes sure that any seller's mortgages that you're not assuming disappear from your title and lastly, you get a nice clean title with your mortgage on it. And that's what the buyer's lawyer does for you.